coming up next on 360. Do you know what you share your bed with? What lives in your pillows? Creepy crawlies you can't see that might be making you sick. We'll tell you how to rid your home of these unwanted guests. All this week, we've been looking at the hidden germs that we all live with at work, in restaurants, even in free makeup at those uh, department stores. Tonight, we hit home with microscopic creepy crawlies, perhaps millions of them, living in your mattress and in your pillows. And the older your bedding is, the more bugs you likely have. They're called dust mites. And 360MD Sanjay Gupta reports they can trigger some pretty nasty allergies. But don't worry, he'll also tell you how to get rid of them. When they bought their new house in late 2004, Allison and Reed Winnick were filled with promise and pride. We moved here October 1st into a pristine, gorgeous home on the beach. And within a couple of weeks, we all started getting sick. Coughs and congestion and runny noses. The whole family was besieged by a mysterious illness. They were exhausted, moving at a slower pace. It became harder to wake up in the morning, and seven-year-old Justin was late for school almost every day. I was ready to move out. Increasingly frustrated and confused, the Winnicks had air samples taken in their new home. They feared it was sinister mold growing in the air ducts or even asbestos or fiberglass from new construction. It was neither. Lots of dust mites. Lots and lots of dust mites and nothing else. Everything else came up clean. It was in every room that we tested. The bedrooms, the playroom, the living room. It was everywhere. The Winnicks were suffering from indoor allergies from dust mites. Dust mites are microscopic spiders, so small that 7,000 of them can fit on a dime. They thrive in humidity and feed off skin cells human shed. The Winnicks aren't alone. 99% of all households have them. The average number in any given bed, 2 million. In the case of the dust mites, what the allergy substance is, is disgustingly, it is a very potent protein in the fecal dropping of these mites. They tend to be in highest concentrations in bedding, in pillows. One of the difficulties uh, in many of these perennial allergens is that you can clean vigorously. However, uh, they're going to recur, so it's something that requires ongoing effort. I'm going to use vibration and suction to get the vacuum, uh, to get the allergens out of it. Just roll it up now. The Winnicks turned to Healthy Nest, a company that specializes in testing and ridding the home of allergens. A good idea is actually to uh, uncover the bed and leave it open, leave windows open when you can. And if you have the opportunity to expose your mattress or your bed to direct sunlight, that's an excellent thing to do. Now, six months after finding the dust mites, the Winnicks have learned to deal with them. So everything's good. No one sneezes in the morning when they wake up anymore. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, Atlanta. And what a charming visual, little tiny microscopic bugs eating your dead skin and defecating in your bed. Really charming. Thanks, Dr. Gupta. We're talking today about hidden hazards that might be in your house and in my house. We tested everything top to bottom in Meg and Colleen's homes. And among the things we checked for were dust mites. Take a look. Here's an adventure. Um, let's check for um, dust mites and some people are quite allergic. Are you going to laundry actually, all Actually, what happens is the me? fecal matter of the dust mites might be giving you a problem. Gross. What I'd like to do is have you take the pillowcase off. All right. And we're going to send that away to the lab. OK. And next, we're going to look at your vacuum cleaner bag. We're going to look for pollen and dust mites and just plain dirt and other stuff. Yes, good. Nice batch of dirt here. Oh, great. <laughs> The test results are in, and yes, we did find dust mites. This is an actual photograph of a mite that we found at Meg's house. It has eight legs. You're looking right now at its mouth. And right now, experts tell us that these insects feed on dead human skin. And you know, we're always shedding skin, uh, which is why they're often found in the sheets. You're shedding skin when you don't even know it. This is what the mites look like when they're moving. The average double bed, get this contains two million of these mites. <laughs> Actually, the mites uh, themselves, we're told, are harmless. Who cares? Who wants them there? It's their waste. It's that fecal matter that people are allergic to. So it's the, mite, uh, the mites poo-pooing in the sheets <laughs> that's getting to the people, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what makes people sneeze. If you're allergic at all, the mites are really going to bother you. Can it make you sicker than sneezing, though? 
Um, it can eventually cause asthma attacks in uh -huh. people who are allergic, and it has become, you know, it can become a problem, yes. Now, so are the mites an indication of how clean you are, or what? You really, you really have a very hard time preventing them, but what you should do is if somebody in your house begins to develop allergies, is you should get at, especially the bedroom, you spend most of your time in the bedroom, and that's where most of them are. They're in your carpets, but there are millions of them in your bed and in your heavy curtains and so on. The You've got to clean out people that everywhere are sleeping with the enemy. The latest research shows that more than 50 million Americans suffer from some kind of allergy, and it's often the dust mite that's the culprit. And millions of them could be living in anyone's mattress regardless of its age. These microscopic demons are often the cause of such widespread maladies as asthma, eczema, hay fever, bronchitis, inflammation of the mucous membranes, itchy red eyes, headaches, fatigue, and depression. And now, news for the family with Melissa Vage. Uh, many of us already know we are sleeping with the enemy. <laughs> Dust mites, <laughs> especially if you have allergies, they're the enemy. Melissa's here. Tell us how we're going to handle those things. Jerry, they can cause a lot of grief mm -hmm. if you have allergies. Those tiny, creepy crawlers who can exacerbate allergies. But there are a lot of things that you can do to help alleviate the problem. In a sense, they're microscopic, man-eating machines. Dust mites dining on your dead, decaying skin. You can't see them, but they're there. Eyewitness News on the healthy now. Many of us already know we're sleeping with the enemy. Dust mites. Yeah, something to think about. They're those tiny, creepy crawlers who can bother those allergies. But did you know there's something you can do about it? It's 5 o'clock. Here are today's top four stories on News 4. The common dust mite can cause problems for people with allergies and some other medical conditions. In tonight's medical report, CBS's Dr. Sean Kniff tells us about a new way now to wipe out the mites. Now, live, this is CBS 4 News at 6. I'm Dr. Sean Kniff from my medical file tonight. They attack you when you're most vulnerable, crawling over your sheets and skin. I'll tell you what you can do to get rid of those dust mites. At 6 o'clock, you can't see them, but they are out there. In Dr. Sean's medical file tonight, dust mites in your bed. And how do you keep them from crawling all over you? We'll yeah. be right back. You could be sleeping with the enemy and not even know it. And what an ugly enemy to have. We're talking about dust mites and you can't see them, but they're there. That's what they say. <laughs> Dr. Sean Kniff joins us now with the latest in his medical file. Dr. Sean? Yeah, this is going to make you itchy when you see this one. Dust mites, they're creepy crawly critters known to exacerbate allergies, cause skin disorders, and irritate eyes. But did you know most of us are sleeping with them? In a sense, they're microscopic, man-eating machines. Dust mites dining on your dead, decaying skin. You can't see them, but they're there. They're microscopic. As a matter of fact, 5,000 of them could fit on the head of a pin. Under the microscope, they look menacing, but they're actually harmless little critters. It's what they do at bedtime that can have you sniffling and sneezing in the morning. And what the dust mites do is they feed on the skin flakes that are in your bed. And it's what they excrete, you know, their feces, that causes the problem. Those dust mite droppings can worsen asthma, headaches, allergies. They can make you itch, cause skin rashes, and some say even cause depression. And everyone's got them. In fact, they're everywhere. And experts say if you have any of these medical conditions, you shouldn't take the dust mite infestation lying down. That's why many people are now routinely screening and cleaning their mattresses with this new device called Hygienitech. Just take a look at what we found in this mattress. A pile of dust after just a few minutes of vacuuming. A chemical test for dust mite excrement reveals quite a surprise. Moderate infestation. In a typical mattress like this, you could have as many as five million dust mites. Would you want to sleep on this? I would not want to sleep on this, no. No, you definitely, nor would anybody else. And how does the owner feel? Who, by the way, lives in a beautiful and clean home. Yeah, um, never really thought about it or heard about it. So this was a, you know, learning experience. Mites that aren't vacuumed away are killed with intense ultraviolet light and a mite retardant spray is applied. The result? a miteless mattress and hopefully 
a good night's sleep. Again, mattress cleaning with Hygienitech is particularly important if you suffer from allergies. The testing is free, but the treatment is about $60. Dr. Sean Kniff, CBS 4 News.